Time now for ABC4 News Sports with Dana Green. It's just an unimaginable tragedy that has hit the Utah sports world hard. Utah running back Ty Jordan, just 19 years old, killed by a self inflicted accidental gunshot in Texas last night. And after a spectacular shortened freshman season, Jordan was truly a star on the rise. Not many Utah fans gave Ty Jordan that much thought at the beginning of the season, but after a 97-yard breakout performance against Washington in the second game of the year, Jordan assumed control of the Utah backfield. Against Oregon State, he rushed for 167 yards and his first career touchdown. It was just so amazing and so exhilarating. I grew up my whole life uh, wanting and dreaming to, to be a college athlete, and now I'm here. And now I'm experiencing my first couple of games and my first touch now. And so that was that was just amazing. And I felt like I made my mom proud. Jordan's mom, Tiffany, was a big part of his motivation to succeed. Tiffany Jordan died in August after a long battle with lung cancer. She actually came out to Utah on Ty's recruiting trip and felt at ease knowing he would be a part of a family with the Utes. We came down here and, you know, she had cancer. She passed away from cancer. But uh, being out here, for her, it was difficult because it was cold, but she didn't want to leave. And so that meant a lot to me. Jordan continued to shine in the Utes final two games. Against Colorado, he rushed for 147 yards and two touchdowns in the upset win. And then in what turned out to be the final football game of his life, Jordan led an incredible comeback against Washington State, rushing for 154 yards and three touchdowns as the Utes erased a 21-point deficit to beat the Cougars 45-28. to So I'm just staying hungry and staying humble. And um, it, it just feels great, though. It feels like um, uh, I made my mom proud. That's, that's all I want. Jordan was named the Pac-12 Offensive Freshman of the Year and was going to be the Utes' lead running back for the next few seasons. Reaction from Jordan's teammates have poured in all day. Head coach Kyle Whittingham released a statement saying, Words cannot express the devastation and heartache that our team is feeling right now upon learning of the tragic death of our teammate and brother, Ty Jordan. Ty's personality and smile were infectious, and he made a huge impact on our program in the short time he was with us. He leaves an indelible mark on each of us, and our thoughts and prayers go out to his family and friends. From the bottom of our hearts, all of us in the Utah football family want to say we love you, Ty, and may you rest in peace.